guys, there's been loads of goals this weekend. One epic match that I was that I attended <laughs> with a certain Mister Tom Hiddleston. Loki did his magic. <laughs> Clang, name drop. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. <laughs> <laughs> you got papped. Do you realise that? Did we? Oh no, I didn't see it. You made no. you made BBC Sport and the match of the day on social media. You and your new mate Loki. <laughs> Big Arsenal fan. He's, he's a huge Arsenal fan. It was ace because I met him. I met him at Soccer Aid, and um, and like when I saw who was there, and I was like, oh yes, Loki, because I'm like Marvel mad. So I've watched all the Marvel movies, and then in lockdown we watched them in order as well. You know, so we watched, we watched them all as they came out. Yeah, in the right order, oh. you know, so you get all the little bits and everything. And um, when I when I knew he was there, I was like, yes, I'm going to meet him. And I'm, anyway, I'm in the corridor of the hotel. And I go up to him. I was like, oh yes, mate, massive fun. So happy to meet you. He went exactly same. Massive fun. So happy to meet you. I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that's where the, uh, the the friendship came from. And then um, then I was, I was wanting to get him on the podcast. So he's definitely definitely wants to come on the podcast. But because of yeah, the strike, both. you know, so yeah, so we can't talk about it. You know, you can't talk about the movies and everything. So I was like, right, you know. Do you fancy? Because uh, it was supposed to be me and Frankie going to the Diamond Club with Paul White. I, it would it would be invited us, but Frankie's got kittens, um, so I've got this spare ticket. And I was like, "Oh, I just asked Tom see if he wants to go," and he was like, "So excited!" So um, yeah, <laughs> he, he got the full Hollywood treatment as well. He watched oh, the game brilliant. against Man United from the Diamond Club, which is the best place to watch the te- watch the team, um, courtesy of Paul White, our great friend, and. Um, we won, and it was a proper game. Um, and then afterwards, I took him down. We walked up the tunnel, which he couldn't believe, um, and then onto the pitch, and then went into the dressing room after. It was all empty. You know, yeah. It was quite a while. So afterwards. this was before or after the game? After the game. After the game. Yeah. Oh. You know, so it so was, after uh, a win, I even know. better. You know, and it was um, it was it, it was special, but uh, just to see the smile, especially like on the pitch, you know, because he was like, wow. You know, because like when you get on pitch level, you yeah. realise how big the place is, yeah. You know, and he he played at he played at Old Trafford. He played his soccer and he played the whole ninety minutes. You know, so um, yeah, it was great. And then we we came we came out of the um, out of the car park afterwards, and it was busy. And it's like you know, you like you're trying to dodge the autograph hunters and everything because there's like <laughs> professional ones there, and there's yeah. there's actual you know like nice ones with the kids and all that where you yeah, want, yeah. where you want to sign, but then the professional ones spoil it for everybody and. So I turned right and I was like, oh no. And there was like quite a bit of a traffic jam. And so like kids are like walking past my car and they're going, yes, David Seaman. They went, oh my God, it's Loki. Is <laughs> <laughs> it in the car with you as well? Yeah, because I gave him a lift home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So it was brilliant. <laughs> oh, oh, just, just but... your Hollywood actor, mate, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's how you roll. Oh. Sounds like you had the complete opposite experience of that game than I did. Oh, I know. So. Oh, mate, it was the game was um, it, it was like very tight, weren't it? Intense. There wasn't a lot of goal mouth action. You mm-hmm. know, I think Aaron made a save in the second half. So did Anana. First half was a bit like a bit dull. You know, apart mm. from the two goals, which was a little bit better. But then, oh, do you know what? I've never felt like this before at a game when when Man United went through and scored, and I was like, "Oh no, not this game!" You know, <laughs> it was buzzing. The Emirates was there was a lot, you know, there's a lot of people in there. Well, you had them the penned in for most eights. of that, right? Right until that point, you were allowed them to have the ball in their half, deep in their half. You just put yeah. a net over them, and it was. say it wasn't the most exciting at times, but there was no threat until until Rashford scored that goal. Yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah, you know, and it was the the goal itself was it was it was hard, you know, because you know Aaron, Aaron got a, he got a touch on it, and like even now, like people, oh, do you think he should have saved it? I'm like, no, he did really well to get a touch on it. He nearly got it onto the post. You know, he was full mm. stretch. You know, so there's there's like there's no blame attached there at all. Um, same with <clears throat> with with um, with uh, Odegaard's goal. You know, Anana got but the pace and the power that he put on that. Mm. Just, it was just like so good. But if you were in goal, with with your size and height, do you save that? Which one, Aaron's? No, uh, yeah, Rashford's. It's hard because 
when when you've got someone like that, like Rashford, you know that you can't go early because mm. he's he's got he's got that what he did, you know, that bending it back in from the post. He's mm. got the other one where he gives you the eyes and puts it down your right post. Or what he's been doing a lot of the time, and Aaron said this after the game, he says he's been like shooting at the goalkeeper's legs, you know, right. to try and get it through their legs. Mm. You know, so you can't guess with him, you know. So to, for him to get that, no, I'd, I don't think I, I would have saved that at all. You know, it okay. was it was Aaron at full stretch um, and he was, he was unlucky. Mm. Yeah. There was also a lot being made about the other goalkeeper, Anana as well. And a lot of, a lot of, um, United fans are going, oh, yeah, but have you seen his, his pass map, his touch map and stuff like that? It's really impressive. I'm like, yeah, but you lost. Yeah, but to get uh, where? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, that, yeah. that's the thing. You know, it, it's the same. It's not just Man City. It's a lot of clubs and a lot of goalies are trying to do this now, like passing it out from the bike. Mm. And I'm like, to get where? It's you like, know, like, yeah, you, you, you had 30 passes in the, the first half. But, it, but you had yeah. Casemiro coming short for a lot of that. Mm-hmm. And then it was it, they were trying to push it out to the wings, but it wasn't it wasn't getting anywhere. It didn't. So yeah. it's like, so what? I know, you know. And it, 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 and it, sorry, if Arsenal don't push in, you know, if they don't push in, for, you know, like then then it, it becomes null because mm. you know that's what they want. They want you to push on, and then they can bypass players with little passes. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a bone of contention with me at the moment. You know, all this passing out from the back, and it's like to get where? Oh yeah, we do twenty passes, give it back to the goalie, and then he launches it. <laughs> Why don't you just do that to start with? Have ideas, <laughs> <laughs> have it. <laughs> you know, there's so a, there's a there's a uh, graphic <clears throat> that's been doing the rounds today, showing all the players on the pitch that made it onto the pitch yesterday, um, and the the. Uh, progression of the ball, like whether they were moving with it or they, whether they were passing it forward. Yeah. <clears throat> so, like the outlier is Declan Rice, who was like what heads and shoulders above everyone else, and then you've got um, Saliba and Gabriel that are all up, up in the top right where they want to be. Yeah. And then the United one, the per- the player who was the most progressive was the goalkeeper. No way. <laughs> well, he ain't gonna go back, is he? <laughs> 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 I dare you to go back. Oh, one nil. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it was for me, you know, it, for, for being a, I nearly said Arsenal fan then, you know, but you know what I mean? I'm a lover mm-hmm. of Arsenal. Um, it was, it was a great relief, you know, and especially when, when, when Havertz, when he went down for the penalty, I must admit, when I first saw it live, I was like, oh, that looks like a pen. Mm-hmm. And then as soon as I saw the replay, I was like, that ain't a pen. That that will get overturned. And it did, mm-hmm. you know, and rightly so. Um, and then when, who was it that went through for Man United? Ganacho. Ganacho. When he went mm-hmm. through, I, my first reaction was, oh, he could be offside. I'll tell you for why, because Gabriel did amazingly holding his line. Yeah. If you see the still of it, when he's 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 almost like bending bending over to try and keep on the line, you know, like to try and get him offside. He does brilliantly there. Um, when he went through, he finished it brilliantly. But and the, the noise from them, I know, I know, it's not good for you to hear, Cal. But <laughs> yeah, the I noise from the, from the Man United fans was like massive, and I, and and I was like, oh no, you know, they've won last minute and everything. And then I was like, oh, maybe offside. And then I saw the referee like touching his ear and everything. I was like, oh yeah, please be offside. please." And then when, they, when we saw that it was offside, oh my God, the cheer from all the Arsenal fans was bigger than what Man United had just <laughs> <Yeah>. made. <laughs> that must yeah, be it was, so satisfying. Yeah. But what Ten are going on about? I don't know. About the lines. It's like... Uh, hmm. From angles and stuff. He's looking for excuses. And I, I, yeah. again, I'm not ganging up on you, Cal, but... I know with Gone actually going through it, it all of a sudden looked like, oh, you know, I could win. But you didn't deserve to even win that match. You didn't play as well as Arsenal. And I'm saying that from from a neutral. I mean, I've got a bit more love for Arsenal than I have United. But, but <laughs> nah, United never deserved to take anything from that, I don't think. They look, they, they look dangerous with 10 men. Because Martial, oh my God. It's, it's like playing with 10 men. I know, yeah. that's what I mean. It's like... <laughs> I swear to you, I was like, I was obviously I was with Tom, and I and I said to him, I went watch Tom, watch Martial, yeah, my mm. mate Tom, my mate Tom, <laughs> <laughs> Loki, yeah, yeah, and um and I was like watch him, and he's like, why? What do you mean? I went watch, are oh, we hardly moves, and it was 
Yeah, it was a little bit embarrassing. Uh, you know, and just the yeah. little bit that I saw of him and that I pointed out to Tom, and he was like, whoa. Yeah. 